2017 Audi A4 Al Road Quattro Sport 3.0 TDI 218 S Tronic Review. From 30,565 pounds. 9 point. Smooth, powerful, frugal, comfortable, and plenty more, the Al Road is the Audi A4 at its very best, not as thrusting as its Rang E mates, but all the more likable for it. What is it? The Audi A4 Al Road, in what might be its optimal mechanical specification. The middle of three diesel powered options, the 3.0 liter TDI 218 model gets you the relative smoothness of Audi's six cylinder TDI diesel engine, and the wider spread of torque that it provides, for less than 2,000 pounds more than the equivalent 2.0 liter TDI 190. And 2,000 pounds is, after all, less than what plenty of Audi customers have proven themselves willing to spend, in recent years, on a carbon fiber cigarette lighter, a stereo upgrade and indicators inspired by the cult televisual smash hits of the 1980s. While the 2.0 liter petrol TFC Al Road that provided our first impressions on the car last year has a new clutch based four wheel drive system dubbed Quattro Ultra, the diesel stick with Audi's more traditional center diff based four wheel drive system, older tech, but still the difference between intelligent part time and proper full time four wheel drive. If your jacked up A4 is going to spend a significant amount of time on mud or grass, you might very well prefer the certainty of a center differential to the efficiency gains of a clutch-based setup. I would. Elsewhere on the spec sheet, the A4 Al Road still doesn't quite offer the extra capability of its older soft-roading big brother, the A6 Al Road, although it is getting closer. Whereas you can have height adjustable air suspension on an A6, the A4S ride height is fixed, offering 34mm of additional ground clearance over a normal A4 Avant. The only way the smaller car's suspension can be adjusted is if you get optional adaptive dampers. Where transmissions are concerned, meanwhile, all but the most powerful diesel versions of both the A4 Al Road and A6 Al Road now come with a 7-speed twin-clutch automatic gearbox so you're only going to get any torque multiplication for low-speed towing or climbing if you splash the cash on a top-of-the-range oil burner, both of which come with a proper 8-speed torque converter automatic gearbox. If you're a fleet driver, the 3.0 TDI 218 won't break the bank where those all-important CO2 emission numbers are concerned giving you 6-cylinder power for a modest 2% penalty on benefit in kind, big, tax liability versus the 4-cylinder TDI. The 2.0 liter TFC 252 is a shade cheaper to buy and for company car tax, but its official combined fuel economy return is 20% poorer. What's it like? The Al Road is probably the A4 at its very best and I've no doubt this particular diesel is the pick of the A4 Al Road range. Plenty of Audi drivers might disagree, of course, mostly the ones who like their lowered suspension and S-line styling kits. But, if, like this tester, you see the A4 as an imperfect way to satisfy an enthusiastic driver, you might be more inclined to equip your car in way that builds up some its core strengths comfort isolation, flexibility, practicality, convenience while adding just a little bit of off-road capability into the mix for good measure. That, in a nutshell, is what the A4 Al Road does. If, 20 years from now, new global emissions laws have squeezed diesel engines out of passenger cars altogether, it won't be the super frugal 3 and 4 cylinder units we miss, nor the 10 and 12 cylinder oil burners we've seen at the more profligate end of the consumption spectrum. It'll be six cylinder marvels like the engine in this Audi, I reckon. Remarkably quiet and smooth for a diesel, it's also superbly strong and responsive from below 1500 RPM to well beyond 4000. And it'll return a real world 45 MPG in a car that I can't believe would top 5.0 mpg by much even in its most frugal form. The V6 engine might only produce 295 pounds foot of torque the same peak quantity as the 2.0 TDI, 
Sure but it's on tap from just 1250 RPM all the way through until 3800 RPM, giving the 6-cylinder engine a productive sweet spot some 40% broader than the 4 cylinders. On the road, that means the 3.0-liter TDI is much less fussy about accelerating in a low gear, much more swift and relaxing to drive and, because it's an intrinsically better balanced engine, feels much less like it's working hard when you rev it. Most of the time, Audi's 7-speed S-Tronic twin-clutch automatic gearbox is a fine match for that engine. There's a small but perceptible delay to initial step-off, no doubt as the clutches not only manage their own machinations but also negotiate the added friction and inertia of that center differential. But once the car is away from standing, it accelerates smoothly and swiftly when you want it to, the gearbox selecting ratios cleverly in drive and smartly in manual mode. Powertrain aside, the Al Road is very refined and secure. Its ride and handling can be tailored to your taste, if you opt for the adaptive dampers, from a little too soft for perfect high-speed motorway body control in comfort mode, down to surprisingly upright and taut in dynamic mode. Leave the car in auto, however, and adaptive suspension does what it's there to do adapt to the changing surface of the road underneath you and, thanks to the Al Road's extra wheel travel and softer springing, it simply handles the broad range of surfaces you encounter in the UK with greater compliance and dynamic versatility than a standard A4. There's little feel or positivity to the steering, and the car's cornering manners are more about security than poise but that's the A4's familiar compromise. It isolates, it soothes, it relaxes, and it reassures. On the inside there's little to report, the Al Road being is exactly like an A4 Avant. So the cabin feels very well constructed and expensively fitted out, the instrumentation and infotainment systems are first class, particularly with virtual cockpit optioned, comfort is good, with room for all but the tallest of adults in the back seats, and boot space is 505 liters with the seats in place, which trumps both a BMW 3 Series Touring and a Mercedes C-Class estate. Should I buy one? If you're minded to make any kind of Audi compact executive your next car, you should think long and hard about this one. Ing Allstadt's A4 range is a complicated one, between Saloon, Avant Estate, S-Badged Performance Options and the Al Road. That's without counting any A5S now that particular range is fully fleshed out again, or the new Q5 which goes on sale imminently. People buy Autos for all sorts of reasons, German quality, desirability, and design appeal being chief among them. And while an A4 Al Road clearly isn't going to scratch the same itch as a svelte, purposeful looking sport back, it does add greater comfort and capability into an already pretty convincing mix of virtues, and it's better suited to life on British roads than any of its immediate relations. Audi A4 Al Road Quattro Sport 3.0 TDI 218 S Tronic. Location. Feltham, Middlesex. On sale. Now. Price. £41,525. Engine. V6, 2,967 cubic centimeters, turbo diesel. Power. 215 bhp at 4000 rpm torque 295 pounds foot at 1250 rpm gearbox 7 spd twin clutch curb weight 1690 kilograms 0 to 62 miles per hour 6.6 sec top speed 143 miles per hour. Economy. 54.3 mpg. CO2 slash tax band. 141 g slash km, 30%. Rivals. Volvo V90 Cross Country, Volkswagen Passat Alltrack.